Here in the design studio, I do a lot of putter testing on a very sophisticated putting robot. And I learned early on that not all golf balls are created the same when I was doing my testing, meaning that some golf balls are out of balance. By out of balance, I mean that the center of gravity of that golf ball is not located in the exact dead center of the ball. Most top grade balls manufactured today are x-rayed and they're perfect. But we just have to be a little suspect with different brands and as we come down the cost ladder, so to speak, and we need a way to check those balls and I'm going to show you a way to do that in a second. One of the things on this sophisticated putting robot that I found when I found unbalanced balls, and this is what it means to you, is that if you just unknowingly have an unbalanced ball and you set the heavy side down, let's say to the right, you could miss the putt to the right, depending on how far off balance the ball is. If you just set the ball down to putt it with the heavy side to the left, you could miss the putt to the left, again, depending how bad it is. But if you set the heavy side down or up or forward or back on the rolling plane, you could make the putt as long as you struck an accurate putt. So the putting robot shows us doing this and it's quite interesting to see. So here's what we were looking for when we do golf ball balancing and I'm going to show you how to do it. Three conditions can possibly exist and this is why I like this method because it's the only method of balancing that shows you all three conditions. The ball can either be perfectly balanced, it can be a little bit off in which case we want to mark it when we putt or it can be way off in which case I don't want to play with it. So here's how we're going to do it. Here's a little kit you can get. And this kit comes with a Sharpie pen, show you how to use that, and it comes with a big bag of salt, you mix it all up, you get two or three years worth of uh, balancing solution out of this. It's slightly messier than some of the other methods, but again, it tells you the three conditions and that's why I really like it. So what we're going to do is let's take this one over right here, get the solution set up, and I'm going to take my first ball, and this ball's perfectly balanced. So I'm going to put it in the solution, and I'm going to take my Sharpie pen, and I'm going to go ahead and put a mark on the ball and I'm going to now rotate the ball and the mark doesn't come back up to the top. I'm going to rotate the ball again and the mark does not come back up to the top. I rotate the ball again, the ball does not come back up to the top. So this ball is perfectly balanced. So now we're going to take condition two, the ball that's slightly out. Now on this one I put a big dark dot on it already so we can see it a lot easier in the solution. So. That's the light side of the ball because the heavy side will be down. So I rotate it and you can see that the dot slowly comes back up to the top. I rotate it again and the dot slowly comes back up to the top. I rotate it again and the dot slowly comes back up to the top. This ball is slightly out but it is slightly off balance and this is why we mark it. And we're going to always, when we putt, put that mark up forward, back, or straight down. That way we have the heavy part of the ball in the proper rolling plane. Now I take the third condition ball, and we know this is going to be pretty bad. So I put it in and I roll it, and the dot, the big dot again that I put on it, comes up very fast to the same spot. I roll it again, and the dot comes up very fast to the same spot. I roll it once more, and the dot comes up quite quickly again to the same spot. This ball's pretty bad. I don't want to play with it and it's rare to find one out this far. So balancing balls is interesting and then what I like to do also is when I have a mark then I'm going to take and put a couple lines on the ball. I can either put two lines on like this ball around my dot or one line. The line system works great because you set the line down to your, your intended line of putt and as long as your face angle and path on the putter are square, the ball will roll end over end over end as it approaches the hole. That way with no wobble you know that everything was fine. And you now have the proper weight of the ball opposite the dot on the bottom so it will roll perfect without going right or left and be influenced by the ball being out of balance. So, kind of interesting, a lot of fun to do it. It's something else to allow you to concentrate a little bit more on your putt because you'll have the mark on it, you'll have your lineup lines. So, go for it and check all your golf balls because you don't want to know that it was the golf ball that missed the putt. You'd rather have you missing the putt because you can correct you as you practice later on.